Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Tuesday, the 16th of May. Big day. Big, big day. We don't know the details, but do we really need to know? We're about to find out really quick. I know one thing. Uh, it's heavily suggested that you bring an extra pair of pants. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Anyway, I'm glad you're all here. Pretty exciting stuff uh, going on. I'm glad. Uh, I'm not surprised that we're having this meeting. I knew it would be sometime. I really felt it would be sometime this week. If you look around the back office, it's darting. It's uh, laser fast. Uh, every time I go on and I really, really look at each individual product that we have up now, O-Net, O-Trim, O-Connect, uh, there's, there's things, there's, there's extra items there that I just didn't notice. And that, that blows me away. You're hearing about it all these months, and we're going to have this, we're going to have that, we're going to have, but to actually, you know, when you click it, you see it, you, and you're looking at it as well, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, um, O-Connect, I mean, O-Net, being able to do a uh, podcast, isn't that cool? You record it, you put it on there, you can have people come. Wait a minute, Dallas wants to say hello. She uh, has been here a couple of days now. And uh, she, she, uh, yeah, it's on. It's just delayed. Issues. And uh, she's a good girl. She's spoiled. But she, uh, she looks like a mop without the handle. But very good dog. Never went in the house one time, guys. Not once. Crazy, huh? That's a mother's gift that's just going to keep on giving. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody, once again, for being here. Uh, super sticker. Thank you, uh, Gana RB from New York City, I believe. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, like, uh, I, watch, I watch part of Chris's. He moves around so much, I think it makes me seasick. But... <laughs> <laughs> guys all over the place. No, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna um I expect I I really always expect crazy great things to happen. Um I'm passive to me in general is a is just a gift to mankind. I mean flat out. And it's gonna get bigger and bigger and more people will realize what we have. More people are gonna see what we have and I I just Something this good, you know, people talk about, I hear people say, well, how's it going to, you know, advance and how will people know? Something this good, when people come in and they use it and they use OpenNet and marketers will be in because there's nothing good out there. When they come in, they use the tools they are going to go, I've been looking for this all my life. I'm No joke. I'm not that unique. It's just, thank God that... I saw this when I did. I, I'm so happy over that. And I, I think even from the journey up to that point, Surrender Sahu, thank you for the super stickers, so I mean that. From that point till now, I mean, from the 2004 until that point of 2019, I would have never appreciated this as much as I do now. And I'm, I'm, I was... Thinking, I was talking with Chris and I was talking with uh, Robin, the voice, and you know about where it's been, where it is, what people know, what they think, and and I I know some people probably weren't tapped in as much as they should have. A lot of people are really focused on now, what happened, what's going on, and the point is, this company has evolved and this into something like the world has never seen business-wise, online and off. I, there's no doubt about it because even the biggest of the biggest, they do not have a blanket of solutions in one platform. Nobody does. 
And every month, every week, every whatever, you're, they're going to be adding more and more and more and more. And for anybody watching this, that's, uh, you know, like I said, look at tomorrow, to five days from now, 100, 100 days from now, like a year, five years from now, these people are, when you see it, you're going to find out that it's as good for you then as it is for me now. And the free products. I would definitely not, I would definitely come in, at least get the free products just so you can say, you know, I tried it out because I'm telling you, if you try out the free products, and this means for anybody watching this, I don't care what date it is. You come in and try the free products out, you will, uh, you'll never leave. Because at that point you're, you're in the ecosystem. And when you'll you'll see OES, which is on uh, um, passive ecosystem. So when you see it and you look at OES, what's OES? What's a, it, it's a platform that when you come in, it was designed to give people the tools they need to succeed at the highest level possible, unlimited. All of the products. Will, will be AI. All of the products are designed to take you as far as you could possibly want to go and some. It was designed it was designed to run faster than you could run, fly faster than you could fly. I mean, it just, it is. And you'll see what I mean when you, when you come in to look at it. Do you have to be a reseller or something like that no absolutely not in fact most people won't most people are coming to use the tools and they'll be satisfied with that and that's okay but also keep in mind that uh some will come in that have never ever been in any type of business in their life never had a desire scares them and they'll see that on passive is that business to, to get your foot wet get your toes wet and realize in on passive this as a business as, as you sharing a business there is nothing on the planet like it nothing no quotas no you don't have to do anything you can share you don't have to share if you come in and somebody comes in and you share it you can get a commission it's it's so easy it's so easy you get in any business most of them before on passive is there's quotas. There, there's a monthly fee. There's you have to hit a certain level. Uh, there's a, you can only make so much. And I mean all those all those fences. And I'm going to say that fence thing again because my gosh, that went crazy. About the pig story when I was in my early twenties. Uh, most people. I'm not calling people pigs. I'm just giving an analogy. I went to my uncle's house in Illinois, and he he had some pigs on his farm. He had pigs, ducks, cows, but he raised a few pigs, maybe 50, 60 pigs, and he had them in a pen, big pen. And then the, around the pen, at about three foot high, was a electric fence. And they would go up, maybe one or two would touch it or something, they'd never touch it again. And pigs are very intelligent so they told their buddy the second piglet over hey don't touch that wire it don't feel good you can't eat it anyway so when he said we were in the house and he said i got some we got, we got some farm boys coming over we need to move those pigs to to another area and i'm going what does that mean oh we take the fence down and walk behind him and push them through and i go thinking to myself, what a piece of cake. We'll be back. You know, what is it, noon? We'll be back by 1230. Yeah. So he turned off the electric fence. He took the fence down. Gone. Nothing. We're behind him walking the pigs. Uh, Richard Lamont. What's happening, sir? Thank you for the super stick. So we start walking behind. Me knowing freaking nothing. Those pigs walked up to that fence. 
where that fence was, not where it is, where it was, and stopped air brakes. I mean, boom, butts lifted up here. They stopped so fast. I'm like, what are they doing? He said, they remember where the fence was. Yeah, but it's not there. Doesn't matter. Until one of them sees that there's something beyond it and can move, they won't go. So we're walking up. Pig turned around and came back. Running between our legs. I'm trying to stop him. He goes, yeah, yeah, you got to stop him, stop him, stop him. I said, I didn't know they were going to do that. So we did it again. One pig went through. Got his nose through and went, you know, I told the other ones, hey, it's clear. Let's go. It's a nice little lot over there. And they ran. No problem. Humans are the same way. When we're younger, we have no fence here. As we get older, the fence is put up through society, through life itself. And, and, and the bad thing is not only does the fence go up, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. We wind up in a smaller and smaller pen here. Believe in we don't, we can't, we don't deserve, and there's nothing beyond. And if we dare take that step, we're going to get electrocuted, electrocuted or something. Here, okay, I'm not talking about physically electrocuted. So, I'm passive. What I tell, what I said weeks ago is, I'm passive. There is no fence. So just go. And people that come in, even with experience of 10, 20, 30 years online or offline MLM or whatever they're doing, will come in with the mentality that there's a limit. And when they find out, people that have experience, I know a lot of people, and I'm passive now, founders. Don't know what all these tools are, but you don't need to. The people that do know and the people that are using them every day, some of you do, but people that use them every day, they're going to know. And when they see that they're unlimited with all the extras above market value, it's lights out, everybody. We're in for a show of our life. And that is going to be so cool. I, I love to see, I'm, I'm going to love to hear people's what they say, what the, how they look. And it's, guess what? I'm going to say it again. No founder can, no customer or reseller can enter into a passive except to a founder. Boom. Just say that to yourself over and over and over. Okay. Now, today, you know, if you're reading what was said, uh, at, at 1255, which is in about a half hour, a little more, they are going to have a light show on the Burj Khalifa. Don't miss it. Invite your family. Be proud to say my company, the company that I'm with, not my, the company I'm with, the one that you call whatever, some people, and say, watch it on a large screen TV. It'll blow them away. If they're alive, if they're breathing oxygen, okay? Fifteen thousand customers so far. Mr. Asmifar, hello, brother. Anyway, so get people to watch it. They, they, it. Listen, your family thinks you know nothing. That happens, okay? That's why I don't talk to family about this stuff. It, it's not against you and everybody. It's it's always that way. You know, your family knows uh, what's Marty. But what I want to tell you is, you share them and, and let their eyes, videos and pictures do a uh, or better than a, a, a thousand words, okay? So have them look at it. It's, it's a big deal. It, it, my children watched it, and after that, that was it. The first time it happened. Are they 100,000% like me? No, but they don't do it every day. But do they believe it's big and unbelievable? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just by going, watch that. Now, I put a little thread. I said, you watch it, or you're not getting a Christmas present. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, be happy, um, be pumped up. I'm happy where we are. Where we are. Uh, I, I don't even know where we are. The 1% I do now, I'm fine with it right now. If it stopped right now, if there wasn't a bomb today, there's not a bomb tomorrow, I'm good. And, and I want to tell you, I never, ever try. I'm not working on trying to motivate you. I want to inspire people to think. And believe, because whatever level anybody is, Mr. Mufar is at 9,000, 90,000 feet. Yes, his view and what he sees 
and where we're going is so much clearer. I get it. But if you have trust and faith in something bigger than yourself, you will believe vicariously through his eyesight, you'll believe it. And that happened to me. And now that I, even if I'm 1%, I'm really looking and believing. I'm looking, remember, it's not 2020 vision here only. It's 2020 vision in your heart. Some people don't see anything from the heart. It's dark. And most founders, that's why they're here, have good vision here on their heart. And if you just look at what we've done and where we've been, you'd have to be, you'd have to be Helen Keller not to see and hear what we have. You, you would be. Walter McLaren, thank you so much for the super sticker, sir. I mean that bottom of my heart. Uh, what was I going to say? So 400 and 440 people total today. Very good. Like I said, about a half hour, Birch Khalifa, don't miss it. At, at 1.30, there will be uh, a big show. Don't know what it is. Some stuff's going to be introduced to us. Don't care what it is, but I know it's going to be big. Uh, the only recommendation that I've heard or coming is you might want to bring an extra pair of Undies, just kidding. Anyway, uh, love you all. Uh, there's one thing I need to do. I heard a story last night, okay, that Chris Johnson told me about uh, something that was said to him. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, okay. This is from, I'm going to post it in the bottom so you can read it. She's going to be real happy that I brought this up. This is a, a quote. From Narell Warcon. Are you ready? Narell. Here it is. When Marty comes on live, it's 2 a.m. here. My body says no because she's tired. It's sleep time. But he has one of those comforting voices that just lulls me to sleep. Now, right now, her face is red. She's probably saying something like, I'm going to kill Marty. But I had to do it. And plus, if I don't do it, Chris is going to be upset. But anyway, <laughs> that's for you, Narelle. I'm not sure it's a compliment putting you to sleep. But anyway. So everybody, um, if you don't have that feeling that I have, grab on tight. Because if you listen and you push forward, it will come. And the, and the vision will get bigger and bigger and bigger. You'll never outrun on passive. You can live your dreams. Every product and on passive, everything that they make is so much more than the title itself. Break it down. Go as far as you can. Run as fast as you can. And finally, live the dream that you are meant to live. Thank God for Mr. Mupara, the tech team, everybody that surrounds him, everybody that he's hired. It's a, it's going to be a, mo a movement that's never been seen before. I love you all. God bless. And don't forget Burj Khalifa at noon. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot to say. God bless. Bye.